Hi! Let's get this party started. I already took the lower off the rifle. And I'm going to be getting rid of the factory trigger. Putting in this guy. Rice Armament Super Sporty Trigger or some shit like that. Uh, first things first, you got to make sure that you have to take off the safety. This does not come off like the safety in an AR-15. You have to pop out this little key here. Now, here is, right in here, is the bolt catch. That's got to come out. There is a C-clip right in there. You got to pull that with pliers, and then you got to be careful with the spring. Little clip. Put your thumb on the spring back here because this little guy likes to go flying off ye olde moshpit style. And now it's pretty much the same thing as a regular AR 15. Pop out the pins, use a big punch, watch the stupid hammer pin. So these are not like regular AR-15 pins. They are quite a bit longer. I'll do a comparison in a second. Part number two, disconnector, trigger bow, trigger is out. You can see there's quite a bit of difference in the size. You can already see of the two trigger pins between a trigger pin for the WK and a trigger pin for an AR-15. The way that these trigger packs usually work is there is a pair of set screws at the base of the trigger pack and the packs themselves are held in place by the trigger pins but rather by the set screws pushing the pack up and locking it in place using the pins. So it's actually a lot easier to install these triggers than it is to install the other triggers. Drops in just fine. Seems to be pretty much just fine and dandy sitting there, but it's obviously not actually held in place. So now I gotta grab one of my Allen keys, figure out which one it works with, and get me some set screws. There is a pair of obviously the trigger uh, springs are in there and they're kind of blocking the uh, holes where the set screws are. And I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to reach in there, but I should be able to reach in there. If I just move them out of the way. After all, that's what the manufacturer says. Well, I have a 564, so the three millimeter seems to fit. Let's see if it fits better. Oh, you know what would work nice? I'm going to grab a screwdriver, hopefully with a long enough bit. I'm going to see if I can push the spring out of the way. Using a long thing, screwdriver. I'm in. If I just pull the hammer down, I actually just keep rotating the stupid Allen key. Just don't over tighten it, so I'm just gonna give it a finger tightening and then a little more. Very good. Now, before I reinstall the safety completely, I'm just gonna leave it a little loose, finger tight. Then we have trigger drops, safety on, trigger doesn't drop, safety down, trigger drops, and out the key. And a screwdriver here. Move the spring out of the way a bit. Put the key in, drop the safety, find the hole. I'm gonna try and show it in there. Basically, on the safety itself, 
there is a small geometry that's slightly larger than the diameter of the area safety actually works on. So that's in there pretty good. For those of you that haven't figured it out yet or haven't done it before, this is the spring that actuates on both the glass round hold open and the safety. And that little leg is at the top, but it sits like that. And the bottom leg, the straight section here is what is actually pressing against the safety. So there's a slot on the side of the receiver. So the circle bit with the leg pointed down goes into the receiver like so. Put the spring in, get the start the front of the hold open in place. Catch it with the rear. You gotta take a little bit of bolt hold open off the bottom of it. Right in here. I'm gonna take off a little bit of that. A little bit off at a time. See how it goes. That's good enough. So basically. I just took a little bit of metal off the top there. Spring. Look down. Catch that leg with that. Might as well just put that clip in there and see if it holds. That's it. Okay. That's in. Feels pretty good. Safety, positive, safe, nothing. Ooh, I think we got success. So that sucker right in there, that, right in here. I had to take off just a little of it. Make sure that it fits. I didn't even need to take off that much. You just have to take off a C here. Where's that bolt? There's that bolt. Ring there. Hopefully, extend that goes in. Charging handle in place. Recoil springs in. Put that way in. Push all that down. Okay, good. Take the off. Idril, you need one of these. Thank you for watching.